Well, hello, Mache. We're here at the 2024 Mid America Truck Show in uh, Louisville, Kentucky. And, uh, you know, your truck is a truck that uh, stands out from the rest. So, why don't you tell us uh, about yourself first? All right. And then we'll get into the truck. So, uh, where are you from? So, I'm from Chicago. I am first generation American born. As far as family comes, first generation trucker, you know. I mean, I could get deep into family history, but it's taken quite a lot to get here. Yeah, okay. Well, first generation trucker, um, how did you come about uh, becoming a trucker? I'm pretty sure this might be a stereotypical answer, heartbreak, <laughs> thinking I'm not good enough, yeah. decided, hey, you know what, it's time to grow up, make some big boy money, Yeah. get behind the steering wheel and get a hang of things and see, see how it works out. Okay. So, uh, how long have you been trucking for? Eight years. All right. What do you think so far? It's got its up and downs, you know, just like anybody would say so. Yeah. Um, mostly ups, uh, considering the fact that I love driving. Mm -hmm. And being out on the open road, listening to music, jamming out, talking to other truckers on the radio, it's, it's fun. Yeah. I love it. You know what? I honestly didn't see myself trucking, but considering the fact of how I feel about it now, and especially being out here at Matt's right now, um, I love it. I don't think I want to change a thing about it. This truck is a long ways away from home. Yes, sir. So tell us about it, how to get here, and what you guys do with it. Oh, well, first off, the boss, since I'm a company driver, the boss, he comes from Ireland. It's an Irish company, Donegal Excavating. Um, he's, he's just like us car guys here in the U.S. You see it, you want it, and you're going to get it. Mm -hmm. You know, um, simply to put it this way, it's kind of hard to get resources for this truck to look the way it does. Mm -hmm. So obviously truck got purchased overseas, modified overseas by guys that know what they're doing and that they, they've been in the industry for the longest time. Mm -hmm. They know what's in, what's out and yeah. Let's walk around it a little bit, maybe point out some cool things about it. Let's begin with this, not a common color uh -huh. to begin with. Uh, it is Viper Red, more common color you'd see on low boys out here. You know, the boss is all about looking cool, making it look presentable and whatnot. The short wheelbase, even though this one's actually stretched out a little bit, because usually these trucks, where you see the second marker light up top on the side skirt, uh -huh. um, that's usually where the axle would end on most common European models. Mm -hmm. You know, and a lot of guys, they might not understand why. Simply put, the roads are really, really tight over in Europe. You know, sometimes trying to get around in Europe, even for as small as their truck and trailer combos are, it gets pretty difficult. What do you like about this interior? What do I like about it? Well, the recent addition, uh, steering creation steering wheel. Um, the original steering wheels, I mean, just with like any car from the 80s or 90s, the foam fill over a steel core started falling apart. So we just ended up getting a new steering wheel. Um, and what I like about it is it's got a little touch of classic trucking from Europe. Mm -hmm. It's the most common old school thing, mm -hmm. a three spoke steering wheel. I personally feel like it's driving a sports car, even though it's humongous compared mm -hmm. to a sports car. But just the sound, the vintage smell you'd get in like an old school car, mm -hmm. this truck has it. Like it's hard to explain, but when you hear it, you understand you yeah. know, what I'm talking about. Okay. So, you know, the vintage smell the great view you have and matter of fact since it's straight pipe you know it's got a sunroof pop the sunroof open yeah. you can hear the uh the pipe nice. sing full full blast yeah lots of folks know about the classic uh scania v8 and yes. things like that um and the v8 power you know uh, so wait what do you say about that in terms of <laughs> driving this truck compared to pulling the same load with uh, an american truck what what are some of the differences that you've experienced right comfort so it being a 96, mm -hmm. the right comfort with this is ridiculous. Yeah. It's got springs up front, but it's been, a, it's been a while already since it got introduced to the American market. I don't know exactly the history of it. Mm -hmm. um, it has, for a 96, it has a sway bar connecting both springs. Okay. So the ride quality, it, honestly, I feel like I'm on the cloud. Okay. You know, sometimes if I have a rough day at work, you know, driving the W9, you know, with a axle, nine axle, 11, whatever amount of axle setup, um, you jump into this thing, it's like riding a Cadillac, man. 
you know, the combination between the springs up front, the air ride in the back, and just the way the cab shocks work with the cab bags. Oh man, right. it really it really feels like a Cadillac. All right, cool. Well, uh, let's fire her up. Let's have a listen. All right. So I'm gonna have to let the air build up because okay. there's a little cutout box in the in the bottom. Okay. It's gonna probably uh, set it for the muffler. I gotta let her warm up a little bit or build up air. Sounds great. I'm sorry, I, I gotta laugh it off, man. I don't know. It's like a kid at a candy store, yeah. just in the throttle. <laughs> Very cool. So it's a V8 engine. Um, how else would you describe that engine, other than it just being a Scania motor? Is there any designation for that? <sighs> Simply put it, you're missing out on a lot. And the reason being why is power. Mm -hmm. The power band is ridiculous on this thing. From idle, I don't, well, not necessarily idle, but let's say somewhere from the 1200 RPM range all the way to redline, this thing will pull anything. It makes it seem like it's a joke. Mm -hmm. You know, I've done dozers in this thing of all sort of sizes, and I do have to say, between the power, the power band, and the noise, it's euphoria. You're sitting there, you're trying to scratch, your, you're scratching your head trying to figure out, hey, what's going on? Why is this feel too good? Yeah, okay. I'm going to have to uh, get myself in one of these Scania's one of these days. What's different about the transmission and clutch? So it is a 12-speed synchronized trans. Um, you know, your typical American, let's say 18-speed fuller, you know, your switches on the shifter, they're air. Mm -hmm. You hear the little pssst, you're in the high box, back down in the uh, low box. Well, this one is actually a electric to air shifter. So your buttons on the shifter, they're electronic and you're running a whole pack of like solenoids on top of the transmission. And you know, sometimes you're scratching your head because if it weren't for the indicator lights on the dash, you'd be like, I wonder if I'm in the high box, am I splitting a gear, what's going on? Mm -hmm. You know, the operation of the trans, super smooth. Honestly, I feel like I get into my sports car every time. Mm -hmm. Super smooth, use the clutch every single time. Now, you know, we're used to standard American clutches where, hey, I'm a trucker, look at my left leg, it's beefier than my right leg, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, this one's actually pneumatic clutch, pneumatic to hydraulic assist. Mm -hmm. So you could be wearing heavy boots, you could be wearing nothing, you could be barefoot. And driving this thing is such a pleasure, you know? Super smooth shifts. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if there's mechanical faults, yeah, you're gonna sit there, scratch your heads, trying, you know, trying to figure out where every solenoid's going, doing what. But right. when you put the negatives aside, because there's not many, when you look at the positives, oh man, it's it's super sweet to drive. Yeah. You know, whatever you pull, you got the power, you got the luxury. The only complaint I would say I have about this truck, and it's almost practically every Scania, you know, when you go to put it in reverse, you kind of have to fight the lever because you're also almost at the center console when you're pushing up against it. But honestly, once you get into reverse, you back out of your spot, hey, let's hit the road, you forget about everything, man. You know, it's such a sweet ride. Like, I could just stand here and talk and talk about <laughs> it, man. It's a lot of good memories with this truck. That's awesome. Well, what do you think about the show here at the Made America Truck Show so far? So far, um, you know, I know yesterday there was a lot of judging going on around. You know, we had lights going, every truck was revving, hitting their jakes and whatnot. I have to say, I love it, especially considering the fact that it's my first truck show, yet alone my first time at Matt's. I have to say, I feel like a kid at a candy store or an adult at a chrome shop, just walking around admiring everything. It's just like, hey, this is pretty cool, that's pretty cool, you know some ideas for next year yeah okay well I'm glad that you made it to the show and I hope that uh, you continue to enjoy uh, trucking and enjoy riding around in Scania's like supercars and everything yes, else sir. passing people going up <laughs> hills and everything so uh, 
So I'm looking forward to growing in the industry, learning more faces, you know, watching your videos. Like I told you before, I'm a huge fan of your videos, man. It's one of the things that got me open-minded to a lot of things in the industry and warming up to things, trying them. So, you know, I, I, I hope maybe that one video that I watched of yours, maybe some kid could watch this video and be like, hey, that's actually pretty cool. I yeah. want to try it. Absolutely. And you're going to get them turned on to Scania's and oh, yeah. they're going to forget about Peterbilt's and Kenworth's and your folks are going to wonder, what's are you, are you sick, son? What's wrong with you? <laughs> no, just joking. Nah. All right. Well, it was good talking to you, and uh, we'll enjoy the show. Great talking to you as well. Thank right. you.